Hey guys, I got a surprise for y'all. Uh, we actually have somebody that went through the process themselves and got a smoking deal on the car that they did pretty much completely without me. <laughs> actually, uh, they, they were just calling me from time to time just to check in, but I wasn't guiding them at all, no babysitting. Um, all right, you have the microphone. Uh, talk to people, tell people about your experience, you know, what you got, what was it like? Yeah, okay, so um, I started looking for a new car, uh, I guess about three weeks ago, and I started scouring YouTube, trying to just find out different tips on how to negotiate and came across one of your videos and uh, really like how candid you were about the whole process. So uh, I binge watched every single 60 minute car video I could possibly find. And so th the way the process started for me was I, I did what you said to do and I did a nationwide search on uh, uh, truecar.com, car gurus, auto trader, cars.com, carsforsell.com, Craigslist, eBay. I mean, ev everything I could possibly find. And I just started kind of doing a comparable price on the car I wanted, which was a 2014 Nissan Maxima SV. And uh, I, I kind of got an idea of, uh, of what the basic price was. So I called my credit union. They gave me uh, they gave me a check for fourteen five. Obviously, I didn't want to use all of that, so I started at twelve, and I was just calling dealerships. And you know, a, a lot of times, every dealer would ask me, uh, "Hey, well, what kind of budget do you have?" And I would say, "Don't have one." And they would say, "Well, what kind of price are you trying to stay around?" I said, "Don't have that either. I'm only searching for the best deal. What can?" What's the best deal you can offer me out the door? And they would say, well, when can, you, when can you come in for a test drive? And I said, I don't come into the dealership unless I'm coming to pick up the car. So if you can't give me a good, uh, you know, your best out the door price, then no worries. Have a good day. And some of them would tell me, some of them wouldn't. And the, the car that I found, uh, so I live in Texas. I found one in Oklahoma City. So I called this dealer and they said, uh, you know, we don't we don't do a sales tax, but uh, we do a dealer processing fee, which we all know is bullshit. And so they said my out the door price would be thirteen six. I was like, I'm looking at twelve. And they said, yeah, we can't do that. And I said, OK, cool. Thanks. Hung the phone up. Uh, maybe a couple of days go by. They called the check in and said, hey you know, man, I, we really know you like the car. We'd love to get you in, but you know, there's no wiggle room. You know, the car is going to sell fast. And I was like, nah, you know, I'm stuck at 12. Sorry. Can't help you out. And then, uh, about a week later, they call me back and they said, Hey, is, are, are you still interested? And there was another Maxima that I was interested in, but I didn't really like the color. And this guy was going to get me out the door at 13. But what I told them is I said, uh, I said, hey, I was like, I'd still be interested. I said, uh, you know, I would even be willing to negotiate a little bit. But I have another deal that I'm probably going to go with. And they're going to get me out the door at 12.5. At, uh, uh, and they said, OK, hey, we'll, we'll have our sales manager call you back the next day. So he calls me back and he goes, hey, man, uh, you know, I, I wanted to follow up and uh, I know you're interested in, uh, you know, trying to get to get out the door at 12, 8. But, uh, you know, I, I don't want to lose any business over, uh, you know, a couple of hundred bucks. So, you know, if you could do 12, 8, he goes, I, I'll, I'll I'll make that happen. And so I went into this looking to spend no more than 13. That was kind of like my 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 mindset. And so I got it for. 12-8, uh, they're doing the pre-purchase inspection now. That's going to be done tomorrow. And then I'm going to cut them a check. And uh, I, I did that all through 60-minute car. I mean, I feel like I learned, like, uh, like I got a, a fucking doctorate degree and how to negotiate better. So uh, all, the, all, all the props to you, man. Much appreciated. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, thanks for this testimonial. Uh, here's the thing. How 
long, like if you put this, your entire shopping process, right, your entire time, how many hours would it be? Oof, man, I, I spent, it would be like, you know, like 10 minutes here and there throughout the day. And I did it probably uh, a good two and a half, maybe three weeks. So, so I mean, let's say you spend 20, uh, 20 minutes a day, right? And then, and then times 21 days, that's 400 minutes, 400 divided by 60. What is that coming out to? uh somewhere just under like eight eight hours or so right yeah yeah pr so probably about that and uh th that you know e even though that seems like a lot of time searching for a car versus what i would have spent going to a fucking dealership and spending you know half my day on a saturday was uh -huh. well worth the time i mean it Absolutely. was absolutely and the, and, and the thing that you kind of showed me also was like, don't go into it like in a rush or to be too excited. So I kind of conditioned my mind not to fall in love with the car that I like. And I just, I prepped my mind to just say, whatever the dealer told me was just to stick to my guns and say, hey, if you can't do 12, I'm out. Okay, cool. Thanks. Have a good one. Hung the phone up. And I love it. Dude, the phrase that you're using that I really like is sticking to your guns. That's I'm gonna use that one. You gotta you gotta stick to your guns because dealers do not have people lined up out the door. When you are when when you're negotiating, I mean you're in physically at the dealership. How I mean, how many people are there lined up to buy that car? Nobody. Nobody, you're the only one. Right? Yeah. So And you know what and you know what's funny? I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Uh this one particular dealership. I, uh, I called him and he was like, hey, are, are you paying cash or finance? And knowing I'm paying cash, I said, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of undecided right now. And uh, I, I uh, he called. We kind of went back and forth a little bit. And uh, I was like, well, hey, man, I said, you know, if you can get me in at 12, I, uh, you know, I'll cut I'll come up there and cut you a check right now. And he goes, uh, well, hey, he goes, uh, well, who are you going through? And you know, I, I told him the name of the credit union. And he goes, well, hey, man, uh, would you be open to financing it for us or, or financing it from us? And I was like, yeah, if you could be 4% interest, absolutely. And he was like, oh, okay, well, hey, uh, uh, never mind. You know, uh, you know, give us a call back if you're interested. So, Yeah, because what he was hoping to do, he was like, oh, well, yeah, we'll not, we're not going to make a lot of money on the car, but we'll give you eleven thousand uh, dollars you know uh, we'll give you a deal at 11 grand but what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you 10 percent interest rate we're gonna make like seven grand in interest rate. <laughs> so, yeah another reason i was asking you about how much time total you spent is i mean you saved somewhere around two twenty three hundred dollars or something like that uh including taxes and all that am i am i doing my math right because I'm, I'm doing this off the fly that, uh, yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Okay. It doesn't seem like a huge amount of money. It's $2,300, right? It's not 10000 It's not 15000 But, I mean, you do the math, 23 divided by 8 or 9, or let's say even 10 hours that you spend. That's, even if you spend 10 hours, right, that's, tw that's $230 an hour. I mean, unless you're making $230 an hour, you need to be going out and fighting for your shit. Yeah. And, and I tell you, the, the biggest thing that really helped me out is not going to the dealership. Because exactly. all these guys, all these guys that would tell me, hey, when can you come in and look at it? I would always, you know, make up something and say, hey, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not in town right now. What I would like to do is make a deal over the phone. Uh, you give me your best out the door price. And if everything works out, I'll get a pre-purchase inspection and then I'll cut you a check, come up there and pick up my car. Absolutely. Absolutely. You agree on the price. Then you have the pre-purchase inspection done only after you agreed on the price. And then you go right. pick up the car. Or if you don't feel like it, you know, holler at, uh, at uh, you know, Russ, which I give you his number. If you need a car picked up, just holler at Russ. That's it. It's simple as that. Let me ask you another question. Since uh, uh, I asked you earlier and you said you were, uh, you know, what you do for a living is you're in sales and marketing, right? Right. 
and you know, I am too. I used to work at a fucking car dealership, you know. So, what do you, what do you think are the chances of an average person coming to a car dealership and out negotiating a professional salesman? I mean, I, I mean, I'm. It's not like I was like I had a bunch of sales experience with, uh, you know, negotiating with cars. I mean, at the end of the day, negotiating is negotiating, but. Uh, what, what I what I took from like my marketing sales background versus what I learned from your videos was vastly different. So I kind of went into it like, hey, even though I have some marketing and sales background, I still don't know shit about negotiating a car. Like all the all the insights that I learned from you. So I, I kind of went into it like a newborn baby. Like I didn't know shit, and exactly. I watched your videos. And everything I learned and, and literally, I mean, I, I spent probably, you know, as much time as I was looking for a car, I would have your videos on in the background and, you know, listening and uh, that. Is, so if I can, I'm not I'm not a dumb guy, but, you know, I'm not like a, you know, an engineer by any means. But if I can fucking do it, anybody can do it. I mean, I literally followed everything you said. I mean, to the T, you know, don't go into the dealership, uh, call, uh, the biggest thing also is do a nationwide search. When I did that and I could find the true value, like, I, uh, I'll give you a quick example. There was a Maxima that I found. It was a 2014. This guy was at, this guy was asking 16 for it. Granted, it granted it had 40,000 miles on it, but if that's your only selling point and you're still asking for 16, that was bullshit. And so after doing the nationwide search, I was like, man, there is no fucking way I'm paying that much. So not going into the dealership and doing a nationwide search was probably the two biggest tips that I got from you. Yeah. So you don't need to be some kind of FBI negotiator to, to, <laughs> get, to get a great car deal. Like you're negotiating a car price, okay? You're you're not out there in fucking Fallujah with ISIS. Like, <laughs> like if one car doesn't doesn't work out, go get a different one. <laughs> like if one dealership doesn't work out for you, who cares? Go get a different one. I mean, there are millions of these cars. I mean, yeah, you're not you're not negotiating. You know, one of a kind. Ferrari GTO for $40 million. You're, you're getting a $35,000, $30,000 car. I mean, the reason I'm saying this, an average person is, you know, average car sale in America is around $30,000, $35,000. Like, it, it, this, right. is not, this is not a science process. Like, I mean, I, I got a fucking GED. If I, if I have a GED and I can teach someone how to negotiate, like, <laughs> this is not science. <laughs> yeah. No, it, 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 the, the, the one thing I really loved about your videos is like you kind of gave everybody a behind the scenes of how a car deal actually works and knowing like, you know, knowing all the tactics that a car salesman is going to use. The average person doesn't know that. Like, I, 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 I mean, but before I saw your videos, I was doing the same shit. You know, I was going into the dealership going, well, hey, uh, you know, I got this much to spend. And uh, I, I can't go over this. And every fucking time I would walk away spending over that amount that I went in there for and buying bullshit like uh, extended warranties and uh, uh, gap and all this extra shit that the dealership makes money off of. And uh, this time, man, I felt like I went in there, you know, you know, uh, have my, you know, my clip loaded, had all the ammo I needed. And I was like, man, I'm. You know, I, and I'm not an expert by any means, but I was like, if I follow everything that you showed me that I learned from the videos, like I can't fail. Like I'm going to come out of this with a, with a, uh, a good deal. Absolutely. Dude. I mean, if an average person is going to be going to a car dealership, they have no chance to get uh, the best deal possible. Why? Because the salesman will be using sales tactics better negotiating skills and a lot of peer pressure to make you the, the customer do something that that's not you know very good for you you know 
Like, yep. you don't need $900 gap insurance on a car that ain't, that ain't worth that much. That That is, you, if you're buying it at market value, you're going to sell it at market value. It, the, the, the insurance company is going to value it at market value. So, yeah. go ahead. I, I got gap insurance through my credit union loan, and it was like 90% cheaper than what it would have been with the dealership. How much do you pay for gap insurance? Uh, I, I think it was like 249 Dude, I'm, I'm going to blow your mind. You can get it even for less than that. You can get it for free from your insurance company. Literally, you can cancel it with them and just call your insurance company. And you only need it for about on your car because, I mean, you don't have like a $35,000 car. It's not a brand new car. You need it only for three or four months, maybe five months at the most. Five months at $5 a month. I'm not a scientist, but that's about 25 bucks. So you can Ooh, cancel okay. it. Okay. My, my next call, because I haven't done the deal yet, so I can still call my credit union and, and just t tell them I want to cancel the gap. So I'm going to do that as soon as we get done. I, my insurance agent will be my next call. Yeah. So you only need gap insurance if your car is going to be depreciating fast. You're buying a used car. Like, it's not going to be depreciating fast. It did its depreciation in the first three years. So if I were you, I wouldn't get gap at all. But if you want to spend 25, 30 bucks, I mean, it's not going to, you know, break your budget. You know, have gap insurance through your insurance company for five bucks a month or ask them for free because there's a lot of insurance companies that will give you gap insurance. It, it, it's five dollars a month. It, it's very, very cheap. Well, 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 what they did, the 249, they just rolled 249 into the loan. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I want you to save another two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay. Hey, I'm, 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 I'm all about saving. Dude, I, I'm on the same page. I mean, that's shit. That's why I have this channel. Um, what, what else? Do we need to cover anything else? Do you think uh, we have anything else that we would add for uh, people that are watching this? Uh, man, I just, I, it, I, before I landed on your channel, I watched, I would literally, like, I would, I pulled up how to negotiate with a car salesman. And I probably watched the first, I don't know, like 10 videos. And I watched maybe, I, I don't know, the first like two minutes or so. And everybody, I was like, uh, this guy's fucking whack, 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 whack. And I saw you and it was just something about like, uh, I forget the uh, the first video I watched. I think it was the the how to negotiate a car sale sales deal. And I, I just loved your approach. And I was like, man, let me see what this guy has to say. And I, I watched the whole video and I was like, damn, this guy might be onto something. And not to mention you had your phone number in the comments. And I was like, let me see if this works. So I'm like, and you answered. And I was like, holy shit. All right. All right. <laughs> and then so, uh, man, and, and, and you were always there every time I called. You were like, hey, what can I help you do? You, you, you even said at one point, you're like, hey, even if you don't like come through me specifically to get a car, what can I do to help you? And I was like, damn, man, what kind of what kind of customer service do you find like that these days? You don't. So, uh, man, man, I you you, you killed it, man. Uh, oh, Matt, I, 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 that's all I can say. The funniest part is, guys, like you don't know this because you you're, you haven't been there in the conversation. Like he, this guy didn't even use my service. <laughs> yeah, you didn't make any money off me. Dude, it, it, like, like it's not that hard for me to pick up a phone and give you two minute pointer. You know, you're not diffusing a bomb. Like I, I'm not, I'm not gonna be <laughs> spending 45 minutes like on the, doing a heart surgery over the phone. Hey, just do this. I mean, you texted me, bam, I sent you, do this. This is how you yeah. phrase, this is how you respond. Dude, it, it's so simple. I mean, I called Bank of America. It gives me like two hour waiting. I was like, are you multi-billion dollar company doesn't have like somebody there to pick up a phone. It's insane. Um, so guys, if you're looking to get a car, get educated, become a car buying professional. This is a skill that you will have for the rest of your life, right? How old are you? Well, I'm 44. Dude, you look, you look like 30. Holy crap. You are fooling me. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> no, I'm an old man. You're going to be buying so many more cars. Like an average person switches cars like every five, six years. If you if switch car every 10 years, you still got like at least five cars you're going to buy. 
Like this is a skill that you'll learn for the rest of your life. Yeah. All right. And, 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 and I, I am going to like be able to like when I hear coworkers and friends talk about buying a car. Now I'm going to be able to go, hey, you know what? The first thing you never do, don't go to the fucking dealership. You don't have to do that. But I think everybody's so preconditioned to go, this is how it's done. And nobody goes, well, why do I have to do it like that? Just because everybody else is doing it? Like, I shouldn't ask questions and go, hey, there's got to be a better way, right? Like, I shouldn't just have to be like a, a mindless zombie and just go, go to the car dealers, you know, like, fuck that. There's, 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 there's way better ways to do that. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I think we're going to be, I, I, I'm out of questions. Uh, maybe, you know what, maybe we could, if you want, uh, later on, we can hop over to, to like a stream and just, just, uh, just chat if you want. Uh, maybe you can answer yeah. some questions from like the, the consumer perspective, you know, if you want. Oh, That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I think we're going to be wrapping this up, dude. Thank you so much for uh, showing up. Hey, no worries. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks for having my back, even though I, uh, I wasn't able to do a deal through you. Dude, just the fact me. that you, you schooled me through everything to get this deal is just a, a, a testament to how much I believe in your system. And next car, I will absolutely try to do a deal like specifically through you and just have you take care of everything thanks man appreciate it uh all right thanks appreciate it i guess hey, uh, no worries, man. take care one. Bye -bye. you too man huge thank you for watching this video click here to subscribe watch one of those two videos and click the share button below the video did you enjoy the video did you find it useful do you think you're gonna save some money with it absolutely you will share this video on facebook with somebody else this is dan strong with 60 minute car i'm signing out and i'll see you in another video